ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂಧು ಬ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನವಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದ ಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಕದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿವಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನುಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಷಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಪ್ಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುರೂಪೇನ್ನು ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿದಯ ಸಂಭೀತ್ ನಿಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
तावद ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पद भी तावद न तिक्ति भावे तावत चाप विशृंखलत्न महते न लोक वीद स्थिति ताव शास्त्र विदाम मिथा कल कल नाना बहिर्वत्मसु श्री चैतन्य प्रियजन यावद न दिग्गचर तावद ब्रह्म कथा मुक्ति पद भी तावद न तिक्ति भवे तावत चाप विशृंखलत्न महते न लोक वेद स्थिति तावत शास्त्र विदाम मिथा कल कल नाना बहिर्वत्मसु श्री चैतन्य प्रियजन जावद न दिग्गचर गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपाल परमंश जगतगुरु टोल्ड दैट टू गेट रीड ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड एलिगोरी इस कल हरिभजन गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपाल परमंश जगतगुरु सेट दैट To get read of history and allegory, is called actual Hari Bhajan. We think we are doing Hari Bhajan, but actually we are not free of history or allegory. What do you mean by history? A flow of incident in this creation is called history. a flow of incident what happens that is called history allegory means bonded soul they are habituated to think so bonded soul they are always habituated to make different kind of plan and program which can never come true or if at all come true they will never be happy they are watching this dream they are watching this dream because they like to become happy that's why that is why they like to see dream they like they are always living in dream land material people sometimes speaking maharaj be practical but they are idiot number 1 they don't know it is not practical practical mean to do hari bhajan come on this is more practical that's mean they are material they are speaking this way actually this is not practical it is impractical practical mean to do hari bhajan but they cannot realize it a series of thoughts coming in their heart sometimes they are happy sometimes they are feeling very bad this way they are leading their life this is their condition in vishnu puran we can see one shloka where it is written vishnu shakti para prakta khetra gyakhya atha para अविद्या कर्म संज्ञान तृतीय शक्ति रिश्वते इन विष्णु पुराण वी फाइंड दिस वर्क विष्णु शक्ति पराप्रक्ता पराशक्ति दे एंड पराशक्ति कैन हेल्प अस बट कैन नॉट हेल्प एट प्रेजेंट पराशक्ति विष्णु शक्ति परा प्रोक्ता एंड देयर इज अनादर शक्ति दैट इज कॉल्ड तटस्था शक्ति जीवा शक्ति एंड अनादर इज माया विष्णु शक्ति परा प्रोक्ता क्षेत्र ज्ञाख्या अथा परा अविद्या कर्म संज्ञान अविद्या कर्म संज्ञान तृतीय शक्ति रिश्वते इज माया शक्ति माया शक्ति एंडलेस माया शक्ति सो पावरफुल दैट व्हाट इज नॉट ट्रू यू आर बाउंड टू बिलीव इट इज ट्रू यू योर फादर ग्रैंड फादर बाउंड टू बिलीव इट इज ट्रू बट इज नॉट ट्रू नो रियलिटी दियर बट यू विल हैव टू that kind of magic spell there 
It is called in Sanskrit adhyas. What is not true, you can do true. That's why many times I told Paro Opi Manute Anartham Tatkitan Chavi Paddhati. Our Atma, Jivatma has no relationship with this material world. No connection with Maya. It is totally Chinma, Jivatma. No question, no, never, never there was any connection with Maya. But they are bound to think that I have my connection with Maya. I was speaking that day that when you can realize the sarup of your material enjoyment, if you can realize the sarup of your material enjoyment, then you can spit on, then you can spit on material enjoyment, but you cannot realize. The day you can realize the actual sarup of material enjoyment, you can just spit on material enjoyment, khak tu, but you cannot. You cannot do. There is the magic spell of Maya. We are not inclined unto the lotus feet of Guru Vishnu. Otherwise, it would have been possible. But we are not on that. Because many times I told, by serving pure Guru Vishnu, Guru Pad Padma, it is possible for us very easily, it is possible for us to go out of Maya. Is very Rajas Tamasya Satya no Satancha Upasame no Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhaktya Purushohi Anjasa Jayat. What is written? Rajas Tamasya Satya no Satancha Upasame no Cha Etat Sarvam Guru Bhaktya Purushohi Anjasa Jayat. This way you can. But we cannot. This way we can get out of Maya. But this is our big issue. In our total bhajan life, this has become a big issue to, to get uh, out of Maya. This has become a great issue for us only to go out of Maya. Big issue, fighting day and night. This is a condition. But this is not big issue. This is the most preliminary issue. This is the most preliminary issue. I mean, without which Hari Bhajan cannot start. But we are busy with this, fighting with Maya. Sometimes realize something, oh, again, after one hour, we take this. No, no, it's okay. Every fluctuating condition. Bonded soul, oscillating condition. Bonded soul now, oscillating condition. Sometimes going here, sometimes going here. No stability there. No stability. Actually, there is thick, there is infinity Shakti of Bhagavan, but categorically we can say that there is basically Category three sakti, three category. One is Sandhini, Shangbit and Ladini. Sandhini, Shangbit and Ladini. Basically we can categorize. Sandhini, Shangbit and Ladini. By Sandhini Shakti, I mean by the original Sandhini Shakti. Because original Sandhini Shakti is there in Vaikuntha Dham, not in material Dham, but in material Dham there also, but the shadow, but the shadow of the Sandhini Shakti there in material Dham. I can come to this point. Many devotees started asking to Bhakti Mira Thakur, what do you mean by Maya? Uh, everybody is speaking Maya, Maya, Maya. We cannot understand what is the actual meaning. Very precise meaning we want to know. Bhakti Nanda was speaking. 
that the antaranga sakti internal person internal potency of bhagavan is the actual sakti of bhagavan internal sakti sarup shakti is the original sakti of bhagavan and except that another another sakti we feel as if there we feel as if there in material world except that sakti we feel another sakti here in material world as if there in material world but without that original sakti this sakti has got no existence try to realize what is saying Bhagavan has his internal potency, Sarup Shakti there. But except that, we feel as if another Shakti there in material world. How many Shakti? But without the existence of that Sarup, Sarup Shakti, you cannot find any existence of this Shakti. That is called Maya Shakti. That is called Maya Shakti. That's when it is clear that if that Sarup Shakti is there, then we can get Sarup Shakti, which is like Sisti Siti Palaya Sadhana Shakti Reka Chayeva Jasya Bhavanani Vivarti Durga Ichana Rupam Api Jasya Cha Chistati Sa Gavinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Maja. Sisti Siti Palaya Sadhana Shakti Reka Chayeva Jasya Bhavana Nidur, like shadow. Like shadow. Shadow means no reality. Shadow means no reality. But shadow going to imply. But if shadow I see, but it's sure, if shadow coming, that means there's some object is there original. I know shadow is uh, useless. But still, a shadow can imply that surely there is some, some original object there. Otherwise, shadow, how possible shadow can come? This we can realize. It is very practical. So, Sistu Siti Palaya Sadhana Shakti Rekha Chayeva Jasya Bhavanani Vibhurti Durga Ichana Rupam Api Jasya Chachistratesha Gavinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Vajam Govindo is staying in eternal abode, I mean there in eternal abode, and there is Sarup Shakti, but if Sarup Shakti is there, then surely some shadow, like shadow, is shadow. Here, that is called Durga. Durga, going to put you into jail. It is the duty of Durga to put those bonded soul into jail, throw into jail. We are in jail. Maya is going to give punishment, sometimes pain and pleasure, punishment, cheating, all going on. Why Guru Vaishnavas, they are untouched by all this kind of problem? Why Guru Vaishnava, they are untouched? by all this problem, because they are not in this material world. It seems, it seems that, that they are in material world, but actually not so. They are in Sarup, they are saying in transcendental abode. It seems they are like us, eating, sleeping, going, speaking, everything like us. In Bhagavatam, it is written, when you are going to attain Nashtiki Bhakti, in that case, Rajo Tamo Satogun not going to touch your heart. Tada Rajasthama Bhavaha Kamo Lobha Dash Chaje Cheto Etoir Anabidhyam Sthityam Satte Prasidati. Cheto etoir, anavidham, untouched. When, what to speak about 
what to speak about those pure devotees, Siddha Mahatma. If you, if you are going to attain, if you are going to attain the stage of Nashtiki Bhakti, if you are going to attain the Nashtiki Bhakti, then also you can uh, feel this one. Tada Rajasthama Bhavaha Kamo Lobha Dayaschaje Cheto Etvair Anavidhyam Sthityam Satya Prasidati. You can also discover in your life. When you can attain the Nashtiki Bhakti, in that case, those, if at all there is some material qualities there, material influence, I mean the material qualities are there, little bit, a little bit. But they are not going, they are not going to disturb you. Now, no more, they are going to put you in trouble. Now, no more, they are going to put you in trouble. They are like one snack. If I eradicate the poisonous teeth, then you can sleep with the snack. You can seek and play with that snack. No problem can be there. No problem. So, in this condition, you can feel something. Because your conception, your heart, everything, can accept Krishna as the center point. In that case, you can accept Krishna as the center point. All your bhava conceptions, center in a, can move around centering Krishna. And when you are thinking about Krishna, and naturally, when you are thinking about Krishna, then naturally, then you are, uh, feel some nice feeling. Sthityam satya prasidati. Prasidati means one kind of bliss can come, happiness. That is not material happiness. Aprakita, one happiness, pleasure can, you can feel because you are now at present accepting Krishna as the central point of your life. Sthityam satya prasidati. This is it. So we see. Sarup Shakti is there, the shadow here, and the shadow is called Durga, and the Durga is going to play all these things. He is going to catch each and everybody and put into jail. After giving severe punishment, treatment, if she can discover that now well, the condition is uh, okay, that Jivatma like to do Hari Bhajan, then you can release from jail. But not before that. There is a condition this way going on. So we see this Shandini Shakti, Sambhis Shakti, and Ladini Shakti originally present in Vaikuntha Golokdham. Golokdham, a Vaikuntha as a whole, I can say. Vaikuntho, they are present. Always present. And there is the original Sandini Shakti, by the help of which all this Aprakita Jagat is built up. Build up doesn't mean it was, it was constructed some uh, years before. Conception going on. But we should think it is eternally present. Conception, we are speaking like this, but actually eternally present. And now we cannot understand, Bhakti Muttag speaking, we are in this material frame. We are in this material frame of time. While staying in this material frame of time, it is inconceivable to think about Beyond this time limit, it's not possible. That's why Bhakti was speaking, whenever we want to express, whenever we like to express some Aprakita Bhava, 
Bhakti Mantra was speaking, whenever we like to express some aprakita bhava, aprakita time, by the help of this material world, some contamination coming and make you feel that is not possible. Can make you feel, yeah, okay, it's a routine, not possible. Aprakita the time limit, in material condition, nobody can realize. It is impossible. So, Sandini Shakti, by the help of Sandini Shakti, all Aprakita Jagat, all everything there, by the help of all Aprakita Jagat. And that, the shadow of that Sandini Shakti, going to help us to develop material technology, science and technology, everything, by the help of which we are making material development, all buildings, all uh, spacecraft, everything, whatever, all science and technology, all any knowledge here, any, uh, any, uh, anything built up here. Knowledge actually coming from Sambit, by Sandini Shakti, by Sandini Shakti, by the help of Sandini Shakti, shadow of that Sandini Shakti, we can see all this thing, construction. But construction done by the help of Shambhit Shakti. Shambhit. Shambhit means knowledge. Uh, the original knowledge, Shambhit Shakti there in original Dharma. By the help of that Shambhit Shakti, we can develop relationship with Krishna, Yasudama, Nandu Baba, or whatever relationship there, whatever relationship there in Aprakita Jagat, that is, or whatever thing happening, or sense of relationship, everything, all done by Sham, Shambhi Shakti. So all science and technology, everything, what we are playing our brain, all for, all our relationship, husband, father, mother, lady love, whatever relationship in material world, all is a magic spell of that. Eh? Shangvi Shakti. And by the help of Ladini Shakti, in Aprakita, Aprakita Jagat, all devotees, I mean eternal person, they, are, they develop eternal loveful relationship with Krishna. That is called Ladini. If Ladini is not there, it is not possible. Ladini is Ananda. To be frank, no creature in this material world, no creature in this material world like to live without Ananda. No creation, even one mosquito, even one mosquito don't like to live without enjoyment. The enjoyment is there, that's why that mosquito like to enjoy life. I mean, so long living, going to enjoy, taking nice, nice blood, fresh blood, everything. So, enjoyment must be there. Enjoyment must be there. It has, manja, enjoyment must be there. Without enjoyment, Nobody likes to live in Aprakiti Jagat, Aprakita enjoyment, and in material Jagat, material enjoyment. But enjoyment must be there. Anandam Brahma. It is written in Brahma Sangi, in um, Vedanta also, Upanishad also. Raso evahi ayam labdhanandi bhavati. Rasa evahi ayam. So, without rasa, without ananda, enjoyment, nobody likes to live. But the difference is that material people busy with material enjoyment, and in Aprakita Yoga they are busy with Aprakita enjoyment. This is the difference. That is the difference. So, in material world, love affair between man and woman, mother and children, Father and children all build up by this Ladini Shakti. Ladini Shakti is going to give us inspiration. Go, go, take enjoyment. Ladini enjoyment can call us. Oh, I told you, na, 
Maya Devi can only focus on your enjoyment, present enjoyment. Maya Devi can make you blind, cannot help you to see what is the future consequence. You cannot realize. You can, oh, how pure, enjoy yourself. That is the formula of this present world. Enjoy yourself. This is the formula. So, enjoyment is there. That's why everybody running. Without enjoyment, who can do? But, we are very much interested about Aprakita Ananda. Because material Ananda, day, day by day, can take us into hell. And Aprakita Ananda can help us to climb that eternal effort. Prakidananda or Prakidananda. Now I was discussing yesterday or for previous some days that how Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to explain Uddhava that there is two procedure. One is naturally you can feel attraction and come to me. Another is you will have to go through some procedure. You have to undergo some rules and regulation, strict regulation. After that you can purify yourself and you can come up to that platform. That can be possible. But another procedure is uh, naturally you can feel attraction and you can come to me. This is possible. Now question is that, if somebody asking, what do you mean by Gauriya Bhajan? If somebody asks me, what do you mean by Gauriya Bhajan? Then, as per Gaur Kishad Das Babaji Maharaj, Gauriya Bhajan means top to bottom, you will have to cry. Top to bottom, from beginning to end, you have to cry day and night. That is called in one line. Finish. Gauriya Bhajan means. And if you like to get some explanation, our special Gauriya Bhajan under the guidance of Mahaprabhu, then I will have to speak some sloka. To realize the love affair between Gopikas and Krishna, which is our ultimate goal. That we can explain by the help of one sloka. Aradha Bhagavan Vajasastanayasta Dhamma Vrindavanam Ramya Kachi Dupasana Vrjabhade Vargen Jakalpita Shimad Bhagavatam Pramana Mamalam Prema Pumartha Mahano Sri Chaitanya Mahapavur Matam Idam Tattadara Napara That is the synopsis of of a whole our Gauriya Bhajan under the guidance of Gaurang Mahapu. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthanayastha Dhamma Vindavana. Our objective of Bhajan is Nanda Nanda Krishna and Vrindavan in which he is staying. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthanayastha Dhamma Vindavana. And how? What is the procedure? The procedure is shown by all Brajagopikas, that is the extreme idealism. Shown by all Gopikas, that you can follow. Aradha Bhagavan Bhajasasthanayastha Dhamma Vindavan Ramma Kachi Dupasana Brajabhade Vargena Jakalpita. The way shown by this Gopika, that is the final way. And finally, what you are going to get, that is the Prema. Pema Apumartha Mahana. That is the fine. I mean, Shamanda, Abhidya, and Prajan is there. If you are not going to develop this Shamanda, Abhidya, Prajan knowledge in your life, then your bhajan is all useless bhajan. Why is so much fighting going on? Why is so much politics going on? Why so much firing? Because they are not developing Samanda with the Prajanagana. 
any society, I am not going to criticize anybody. It is not the question of criticism. It is not the time of criticism because we are all dying. Whole world burning, we are in the midst of fire. Who can protect whom? So in this case, we can fight with each other, this is not good. With this mood, I am not speaking. I am speaking with heavy mood, a feeling of, you know, pain. If at all, we are going to develop this kind of Sammandaya Vidya Prajan, then we can realize our duty also, and all fighting, fire, can go on. Automatically can go on, but not going. Because Diksha is not perfect, our Diksha is not perfect, our efficacy or everything not possible, our Harinam is not good, all or you are taking from a false guru, whatever it may be, by any way contamination there. But this is the reason for why I am not getting any inspiration. Whatever doing out of force, I must go to Harikatha, if not going. But not coming from heart, like Srila Bhakti Pumat Purigashi Maharaj, going to attend the Harikatha Prabhupada, even after you know, Scorpio bite. That is the condition. Haribhajan is our optional. Haribhajan is our optional matter. We can do or cannot do, it depends upon us. It depends on what we like to do, can do, if not do, we can not do. Optional matters. That's why we are not getting. And one thing very important in this respect, that if we are feeling separation from Bhagavan or Guru Vaishnav, that is called, that, is, that, that can give us 100% success in our life. The day we can feel the day we can feel a separation from Bhagavan or Guru Vaishnava, then we can come out successful hundred percent. But it is not happening. It is not so. But we are feeling separation. We are feeling pain. We are feeling separated from our near and dear one, father, mother, or friend, or money taken by somebody, cheated, a feeling of separation, oh gone. So any kind of material separation, suppose you are crying for your sister, she was very good, now gone from the material world, you are crying for the sister, or father, mother, anyhow. Any kind of material separation can ultimately put you into the ocean of misery, ocean of maya. Any kind of separation, whatever it may be, you think whatever separation you have in your life, you are feeling pain, that's up to you. Any kind of separation, feeling of separation, any kind of feeling of separation, what you are feeling here in the material world, can ultimately take you and throw you into the ocean of misery. But, if I am going to feel a separation from Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, then be sure that feeling of separation can help us to go up to that, climb that eternal abode. Why Vaishnavas why Vaishnavas they are going to observe? Why Vaishnavas they are going to observe Biraha Utsav? Why Vaishnavas they are going to observe Biraha Utsav? Are Biraha Utsav? How possible? Biraha means feeling of pain. Utsav? Utsav means enjoyment? But no. Vaishnavas are doing Biraha Utsav. Because for them, Biraha is also Utsav. Whereas your, whereas for you observing the birthday of your son or wife or daughter, sister, eh, 
can help you to go to hell. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you to take you to hell. You can cut cake, everything. You, are, you can not cake. You are going to cut your throat. Not cake. This is your observing birthday. Happy birthday to you. This condition. So any kind of material relationship, any kind of feeling of separation, what you are experiencing in this material world, can take you ultimately and throw you into the ocean of Maya. Whereas, if at all you, I know is not possible. I know not possible. I know not possible, but if at all you are feeling some separation uh, from Guru Vishnu Bhagavan, then be sure you are getting green signal. Now you are getting green signal. You can go. That is why we are observing Biraha Mahotsav, Biraha Utsav. Because our Biraha means we are going to think about, about Bhakti Mir Chakur. We are feeling separated from him. We are feeling a pain of separation. Of course, the question of separation can come when you at all meet with that object. If there is no Milan, if at all in your life never you met with Bhakti Thakur, then no question of separation can come. If you never met with Bhakti physically, I am not speaking as physically. If somebody asks me, asking me, have you seen Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur? What I can say? If I say no, I have not seen, it is also lie. If I say, I have seen, it is also not 100 Why? Because by the help of my Guru Varga, Guru Gurudev and Prabhupada, I Guru Varga, I have developed that kind of you know, Shakti to see Prabhupada in lotus feet. So I cannot say that, you know, physically I have not seen, but I have seen the Bani Sarupa Prabhupada, by the help of Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, why I can say? If I say, I have not seen, it is lie. It is lie, na? And if I say, I have seen Prabhupada, if somebody mean the physical present, it is also lie. So, which answer I can give? So, your feeling of separation depends upon the vital object. What is that vital thing? That you at all met with that object or not? If not, then your observing Viraha Tithi is all false. You are a cheater. If at all, you never met, Gurudev was there. Gurudev was there. We took initiation everything. Everybody can claim, we have seen Bhakti Bhumatpuri Goswami Maharaj. Everybody can claim. Claim, no? But actually, most of them blind. They have not seen. Not seen even the aprakita stool and urine of Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami. What to speak about Bhakti Pumaturi They have not even seen the aprakita stool and urine of Bhaman Goswami Maharaj or Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. But they claim, I have seen, I have done seva. This is condition at present prevailing. This kind of negative, you know, thing prevailing, all everywhere. No genuine conception, no positive conception. So, there is no question of your feeling of separation is useless, false, if at all you never met with that object. You never in your life met. That's mean. If still today, if I am going to observe the Biraha Tithi of Sila Bhakti Minu Thakur of Prabhupada, I am successful or not? It depends upon only one answer. Have I ever met with them? 
I am not going to speak, speak about physical medicine. But at your, your Banisharu we have seen or not? On this point, this is the vital point. So, from today I can cry for Krishna, I can feel separation. It is a foolish conception. Forcefully you cannot do. Forcefully you cannot do. It's not possible. Forcefully you cannot do. You can speak this way, but forcefully it is not possible. If at all this kind of feeling coming, by the help of pure Guru Vishnu, Brajavasis, they are eternal Brajavasis. Prabhupada is eternal Brajavasis, Bhakti Mithagur, eternal Brajavasis, Kesav Mara, Bhakti Mithagur, eternal Brajavasis there. They are eternal Brajavasis. By the help of those uh, Brajavasis, if at all I am feeling uh, that kind of, you know, Kripa I am getting, so I can also uh, feel a feeling of separation can come in my life. It depends upon how much, how much, you know, uh, a strong relationship, how much strong relationship I had with them. So, I was speaking yesterday, and after that, I told, there is one sloka I wanted to say you, what Bhagavan Sri Krishna already told to Uddhavji Maharaj. Bhagavan Sri Krishna already told, I already discussed, I was searching, but due to busyness, I, I omit it. It was there. <laughs> I was searching. Anyway, I know it. All the time I'm speaking. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, there is different kind of instruction given there in different sastras. Rules and regulation. Agya vaivam gunano dosano maya dishtano upi shakano dharmano santyayo yah sarvano maam bhajeto sa shattamaha. Bhagavan himself is going to confirm who is sat. Bhagavan himself started explaining who is sat, who is sat. Taro and who is Shattam. Positive, comparative, superlative. Good, better, best. Bhagavan already told. So, Bhagavan speaking, Agya vaivam gunano dosano maya dishtano opi. Though in different scripture and anywhere, you can, you can find some of my instruction. Oh, instruction there. Agya yoiva. There is my instruction there. Agya yoivam gunano dosano maya dishtano upi. So even I have given some instruction in different sastras, but according to a, according to your own feeling, according to your own feeling, you will have to think it is going to match you. I am not speaking about bonded soul. Bonded soul, because you say, oh, this instruction I cannot take, this I can accept. I am not speaking about that. Try to understand. I am speaking about those elevated devotees. Those who are... For them, Bhagavan speaking, when they are watching, this kind of restriction, rules and regulation is not suitable for me. If this kind of rules and regulation there in front of me, I cannot do open seva from heart. Bhagavan speaking. That's why I started with the sloka. I started with the sloka. Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Padavi Tavad Natikti Bhavet. You can you can you can feel very good when you are discussing about Brahma Katha. You can feel good about Mukti. You can feel. Tavad, Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Bhi, Tavad Na Tikti Bhave. You cannot feel bitter, 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 enough of it, throw away. Like the case of Sarvam Vartajaju. Like the case of Sarvam Vartajaju. Sarvam Vartajaju, 
is sitting in front of Bhagavan, talking with Bhagavan, but still cannot realize there is Bhagavan. Sarva Matijo talking with Bhagavan. Hmm? Sitting in front of Bhagavan, but still cannot realize he is Bhagavan. He is blind. How much adversity he liked to give some advice to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was a young boy. You are a young boy, you have taken sannyas. It is impossible to maintain sannyas. You are very young, very nice, handsome body. So I can help you. So I can help you to, uh, to hear Vedanta. Well, as you like. You are always thinking about my good, okay? So you can come tomorrow. I can recite Vedanta in front. I can help you to enter into Advaita Vedanta Marg so that you can feel all Maya. No man, woman, no money, position. Your age is very young age, na? 24. Yes, very handsome, nice looking. So there is every possibility that you can fall down. So I can help you. You see the adversity. He is sitting in front of Mahaprabhu, Paratpara Kileshar, Ananta Brahmanda Nath, but still he is going to, because he is blind. He is blind, na? That's why he cannot see. That Sarma Bhattacharya Jo was advised by Gopinath Acharya. When he started argument with Gopinath Acharya, Gopidan Ajajyo only, only told this much. When he started argument with Gopinath Ajajyo, when he started argument with Gopinath Ajajyo, Gopinath Ajajyo only told, the day you can realize this point by the Kripa of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, you can also believe what I am speaking today. So I don't like to so I don't like to go for argument with you. I like to stop. Let the time come. I don't lie. I'm less interested to do argument with you. I have no time. And by the desire of Gopinath Acharya, the great devotee, Mahaprabhu sitting inside, that my devotee, Gopinath Acharya, want some change in the heart of that heartless Sarva Bhattacharya. So I can do something. So I can do something. So he is sitting in front of Sarva Bhattacharya and hearing Vedanta. But finally what happened? I have no time to discuss. Finally what happened? When he could discover that he is number one foolish, I am number one foolish, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu himself. All changed. Then he started reciting hundred sloka like wind. Like wind, he started you know, reciting hundred sloka like wind. Follow. Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sariradhari Kipam Mudir Yastamaham Prabhupada. Who wrote? Same Sarva He himself told, previously I was barking like dog. I was, you know, hua, hua, like jackal. Now my mood already changed, my heart changed. So he is speaking, Bhairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sariradhari Kipam budir yastamaham prapadde. Kipam budir yastamaham prapadde. Now, 100% submission unto a lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. Now, he's speaking. Kipam budir yastamaham tam aham prapadde. Now, I am going to submit 100%. You are the ocean of mercy, infinity ocean. When Atma Ramascha Manayo Nirgantya Apyuru Kramedi Sloka came, this discussion took place. Sarva Vatajaji wanted to give so many things. Ah, 
so many things. But Mahaprabhu wanted to give answer in such a way, Sarvamataja Jo could realize that except Bhagavan, nobody can give this kind of argument. Except Bhagavan, nobody can give this kind of argument. He is surely Bhagavan. After that he could realize. So, Jibeta Mukti Padesha Dhai Bhat. It is written in Bhagavatam. Jibeta Mukti Padesha Dhai Bhat. This shloka he wanted to change. Sarva Mataj. Follow. Grani Prayasa Mudapasha Namanti Eva Jivanti Sanmukuritam Bhavadiya Vartam Sane Sita Sutigatam Tonubang Manovir J. Prayaso Ajito Opi Jito Opi Oshi Toy Sri Lokyam. And another sloka there, there it is speaking that it is written there Jiveto Mukti Pade Shodai Bhat. But Sarvam Vatija is changing, Sarvam Vatija is speaking, Jiveto Bhakti Pade Shodai Bhat. Mahaprabhu is speaking, originally it is written, Jiveto Jiveto Mukti Originally, it is written, Jivyato Mukti Pade So, why you are going to change? Why you are going to change? It is written originally, Jivyato Mukti Pade But why you are going to change? Why you are going to read like Jivyato Bhakti Pade Shadaivak? Sarvamata is speaking, now I cannot speak. Now I cannot speak Mukti Pade. Why? 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 Well, uh, Mukti, if I think at all, if uh, Mukti, at all this word coming, going to give me pain. Uh, why? You can mean this way. Mukti is situated under the lotus, Mukti is situated unto the lotus feet of that Bhagavan. That is called Mukti Pad. You can meaning this way. You can mean this way. That Mukti is situated unto the lotus feet of that Supreme Lord. That is called Mukti Pad. You can get the meaning this way, but it, oh, I know, I know, I know. I know what you mean to say, but still I cannot talk. I know what you mean to say, but still I cannot pronounce this word Mukti Bhavi. It's not possible for me. Though we know, according to Gauriya Siddhanta, Mukti Pad means Bhakti Pad. Sarvamata is not wrong. Because we know, as per Gauriya Siddhanta, as per Gauriya Siddhanta, we know, Sarupena Vyavasthiti Muktir Hitva, Muktir Hitva Annatha Rupam, Sarupena Vyavasthiti Mukti. The Sarupena Vyavasthiti Mukti means Bhakti. Try to understand. Though you are speaking Mukti, but the literal, literal meaning Mukti. But if you try to understand through Guru Gauriya philosophy, then it is written, Mukti Hitva Annatha Rupam Sarupena Vavasthiti Mukti. So Sarupena Vavasthiti Mukti means Bhakti. When you are situated in Sarup, what you can do? You can do Bhakti, na? When you are situated in your Sarup, then you can do Bhakti. So the same meaning. Sarvamatacha is speaking. So, Bhagavan speaking this way, that there can be so many instructions in Shastra, but when you can feel that those instructions are one kind of impediments in your way of loveful seva, then you can throw. And if you are going to love that way, that particular way, that is approved by me. I like it. Bhagavan speaking, yes, I like it. And not, on, not only that, but also Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan going to give the, you know, topmost, uh, you know, title. Shat Tamo. Shat means Shat. And Shat Taro and now Shat Tamo. So Bhagavan going to speak. The Agaya Ivam Gunano Dosano, Mayadishtano Opi Sakano, Dharmana Santa Yaya Saramano. Mam bhajeto sa satta maha. Those who are going to 
those who are going to avoid some rules and regulation, everything what is prescribed in Shastra, and going to be driven by his natural love affair, Bhagavan going to think, I like it very much. I like it, I approve it, I use Sattamaha. So now we can understand the sloka. Up to which point you can feel happy by discussing about Brahma, Tava the Brahma Katha Mukti Padavi, Tava the Natikti Bhavet, a Mukti Padavi. You can think, ah, Mukti. But Sarvam Vatajajo at present, try to understand why I discuss so many things. Because Sarvam Vatajajo at present feeling disgusted. Even to utter this na Mukti. Now, at present, Sarvamartya is feeling totally disgusted. To speak even about, even pronounce mukti, don't like. You see the situation. So, the slok, you know, Tava the Brahma, why? Because Sarvamartya is enjoying the kipa of Guru Vaishnava. Gopinatha Chajo kipa, finally Mahaprabhu kipa. Not that directly Mahaprabhu kipa. So, Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Padabhim, Tavad Natikti Bhavad. Now, Sarvamata is feeling disgusted, bitter, 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 throw away. Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Padabhim, Tavad Natikti Bhavad. Tavad Chapi Bishinkhalata Mahate no Loka Veda Siti. All the material rules and language, Maharaj, you will have to make voter card, otherwise, you cannot travel in train. Those are useless. You cannot go, Maharaj, in train, ah, really. Then I have to go to make voter card. But he is disgusted, you don't like to go. But you have to do. So he don't like to stay in this material world. That is the reason. All oh, well, you have pen card. You have other card. What is other card? Their other card is there up with Bhagavan. This is called disturbance. But what to do? They have to do. On those days, at the time of Prabhupada, there was no so, no so problem. Day by day, complicacy increasing. Complicacy increasing. Oh, so much contamination in countries. So you realize, Tava the Brahma Katha Mukti Bhadavi, Tava the Natikti Bhavet, Tava Chape Vishinkhalata Mahate, no loka Vidusthiti. All the rules and regulations of government or the rules and regulations set by your society to regulate our devotees, that is not applicable for Gaurakishwar Babaji Maharaj. That you make mistake. That is not applicable. You are making rules and use the material rules and, but it is not applicable for Gaurakishwar Babaji Maharaj. They are feeling problem because they are driven by their natural, all the time they are absorbing mood, they are doing bhajan. What to speak about? Morning time I have done one hour, Maharaj Harina, idiot. <laughs> one hour. All day and night they are doing Harina. Hare Krishna, Hare. All the time. But you think one hour you have done, two hours I have done. Eh? This is the condition. So all the rules and regulations set in this society is one kind of impediments in the way of their free shiva. Because their heart is running towards Krishna. Their heart running towards your heart, my heart running towards Maya. Their heart went. So this kind of problem. Oh, get past, check up. Uh, you can go through this. After that you can go to run runway. It's one kind of problem for them. They don't like. Uh, you can touch mala. Hey, let us see what is there in your bag. They can touch contamination. All those rules and regulations, you can feel comfortable. But pure Vaishnava, they are not feeling comfortable. They are feeling disgusted. What? Because they are naturally, they have naturally their heart running towards Krishna. They are doing seva. Their heart and, eh, heart and soul, Krishna is their heart and soul. So the meaning you understand. Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Padavi Tavad Natikti Bhavet 
तावच्चापे विशृंखल महते न लोक वेद स्थिति तावत शास्त्र विदम मित कल कल नाना बहिर्भात्मसु दिस पंडित कमिंग यू आर फाइटिंग विथ दैट पंडित ओ दिस इज यू नो दे हाउ दिस फील इज ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक इज गोइंग टू एस्टाब्लिश दिस वे पंडित दे आर फाइटिंग विथ ईश अदर दे कैन नेवर कम इन टू एनी कंक्लूजन अबाउट भगवान आई नो सब पंडित देर इन नवदीप दे लव मी वेरी मच आई रिक्वेस्टेड देम जे यू डू हरिनाम Oh yes, Maharaj, we can do Harina. But big pandit, they know everything. Knowledge there. I requested them. Oh, can you give some mala to me? I can arrange, but not. I am not guru. I yeah, okay. This mala, I can touch. Uh, you know, Gaur Hari there, Gauranga, and he's okay do. But they are not doing. I am not going doing uh, giving the Harina. But they ask me, can you give me? Or okay, I can give. Me. I give the mala. But they are not doing. They are interested about this kind of material interest. Ah, oh, everybody can, everybody can say I'm great pandit, ah, big pandit, ah. Uh, that they like very much. And Guru Vishnu, they never like to hear that you are Maharaj great pandit, useless. So oh, go. They don't like to hear. Follow. If you speak, if you speak, some pure Vishnu, that you are genius. Still, they are not going to feel anything. If you are speak, you are Januar beast. But still, they are not feeling. If you speak them, you are genius number one. They are not feeling anything. If you speak, you are Januar. I mean beast. But still, they are not feeling. They are not feeling it. Okay, as you like. As you like, you can speak. It's not going to touch their heart because they are less interested about love, puja, patishta. This is the condition. So you see, different pandits. They can fight with each other on some, on some particular point. They can fight with each other. No, this is not good. They are all oh, this good. No, it's right. No. So one pundit going to establish, another pundit coming to destroy that siddhant. When he is going to destroy this siddhant, another pundit coming going to establish this. Mahaprabhu already, already has shown this kind of lila. Mahaprabhu already shown that there is no uh, fundamental benefit in it. In fighting, it can only uh, you know help you to waste your energy, money, vidya, time. Follow. Sometimes, Mahaprabhu, when he was like student, that time, asking something to Murari, can you give answer? This Murari feeling sad, like our Godadhar Pandit when watching. Ah, uh, Mukundo, when watching, when watching Nimai coming, Mukundo passing this way. When going to, when watching Nimai coming, Mukundo going to change his way. Mapu speaking, why is going to change his track way? Mapu asking some, and a student there, why is going to change? Way? Oh, I know, I am always you know. Logic, na. I am always asking logic. This, uh, that's why he don't like his devotee, na. So that's why he like to pass away. Sometimes Mah Mahaprabhu used to put some question in front of some so-called pandit. You can establish this. Well, I can establish establishing. After that, Mahaprabhu, now I can break. Ah, you can break. You see, you see, Mahaprabhu going to easily. Going to break Siddhant, he is establishing, and Mahaprabhu going to destroy. Oh, really so? Really so? It is not like you don't understand. Again, I can establish. You see, <laughs> Mahaprabhu see, one time asking, you can establish this? Yes, I can establish. I establish. I can prove this is wrong. Uh, you can prove? Then Mahaprabhu wrong. Oh, really? It is wrong. 
you don't understand. Again I can establish, you see. Again Mahapu establish. Again Mahapu is, oh really, now it is okay. You don't understand, again I can break this, you see. This way Mahapu used to play. Wanted to show us, when he was student, Mahapu wanted to show us that those logic has got no background. Tarko apratishto Shrutayo vivinya nasho munir yasya matam navinyam dharma satatyam nihito guhayam mahayano yeno gato sapantha. That is the final. We are not going to play our head. We want to believe on Guru Vaishnava. Only Guru Vaishnava. What they are speaking? Shauta Pantha more practical. Why? In your society, you like to make some rules that all totally reverse what Prabhupada, the Prabhupada told. Why? You think it is very, but you don't know. This way you can never stand. If I ignore Prabhupada, then I can never stand. It's not possible. But we don't know. Common sense is not there. So you understand now that I already told Tabad Mit Tabad Sastavidam Mitaha Lalan Nana Kalakala Bahir Vatmasu. Bahir Vatmasu Mani, it is external thing. Fighting everything or logic, interpretation, all external thing. But bhakti is internal function of his soul. That's why Pavadam Sasva is writing Tavat Sastravidam Mitaha Kalakala Nana Bahir Vatmasu Javad Chaitanya Priyajana Javadana Diggachara. Chaitanya Priyajana. So long as you are not going to meet with one Chaitanya Priyajan, one devotee of actual devotee of Chaitanya. Till then you can go on fighting. But you meet with any such exalted devotee. If you are going to meet from heart, if your submission is 100% correct, then that self-manifesting Vaishnava can show the glories. Self-manifesting. Then you can leave the way of calculation, estimation, fighting, all you can throw away. Same thing, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to give to Udhav, Udhav, this kind of love affair in the in the creation, in this material creation, nowhere available. Nowhere. In infinity world, nowhere you can find. Only available inside Brajadam. What kind of love they have, even I cannot understand. But they love me. So now speaking, Ramena Swardham Mathuram Pranite. Swafal kina mai anurakta chittaha vigaro bhaveno na me biyago tibradhayo anyam dadrishu sukhayo. When I was taken by Akrur, when I was taken by Akrur to Mathura, then the situation I cannot explain. That time, what kind of tremendous, painful situation? I cannot explain, Uddha. It is not possible. When I was taken to Mathura, they were left, all left, lifeless body. No life there. But, but still they are living. With the hope that someday we can meet with Krishna. But, from heart they speaking, perhaps Krishna cannot come. I told na, one precious jewel, if taken by anybody which is not available, on this ground so many fighting and killing. One money available in the, in the head of snack. One money available, on, you know, very, very costly. Diamond, a so, so a precious jewel, somebody fighting, killing, taking place. Because if somehow this jewel, somebody getting, he cannot give you back. So Gopika is thinking, Krishna is our precious jewel, the only jewel. 
uh, they are going to Mathura, so we think um, Krishna cannot come back. So they are ready to give their life in front of the wheel of chariot. Bigaro bhave no me biyogo tivra adhayo anyam dadrishu shukhayo. Anything in the Vrajadham, anything, whatever, whatever things are there in Vrajadham, when they lose me, when I was taken to Mathura, they feel everything disgusted. Their home, their whatever thing they have, they feel all disgusted. All the things disgusted. Without Krishna, all vacant. Without Krishna, all vacant. Shunna itam jagata saramam gavinda virahe name. Now you see, right application. I am discussing all in details in Harinam Chintamani and in Madhurja Gandham is so big, big points, very secret points of bhajan coming. Bengali. So, it is practical. Not that one philosophy. Practically, Siman Map, which is impossible. Where is Gopikas? Where we can see? We don't know where is Gopikas. Or maybe somewhere where we don't know. But that's why Mahaprabhu wanted to show us practically. That's why Mahaprabhu wanted to show us practically that this is called Gopi Bhav, this is called Gopi Bhav. Mahaprabhu told. Nayanam galada sudharaya, badanam gadagadaruddhaya gira, pulakoir nichitam bapu, kadatabanam gone bhavishvati, shunnayitam jagata sarabam, gavinda virahen. This sloka. Shunnayitam, all I find, all I find, all vacant. Feel of the blank is not possible. When Guru Vaishnava going away from this material world, feel of the blank, this procedure is not possible. Money gone, you can get money tomorrow. But Guru Vaishnava gone, feel of the blank not possible. Krishna gone, feel of the blank is not possible. It's not possible. There is no such objective in this material world. There is no such object in the material world with which you can replace Krishna. Sri Krishna is Krishna. No replacement can be done. That's why no substitute of Krishna and Krishna Nam, nothing. No substitute of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Guru Bharga. The day we can feel that we are separated from them, now black days are coming, black days. Now black days are coming, all around one uh, dark cloud, darkness of cloud, you know, coming. To cover up the whole world, their consciousness, only fighting and money, position, everything comes. They can, they cannot get. That's why you should realize, Bhagavan speaking, Ramenu Swardham Mathuram Pranite Safal Kina Mai Anurakta Chitta Bigado Bhavi no no me biyogo Tibradhayu Anyam Dadrishu Shukhayu. They are not feeling happy. They are not feeling happiness by watching here and there. No. Sunna Itam Jagata Saramam Gavinda Virahe Name. This practically is shown by Shivan Mahaprabhu. Really, if you can realize someday, if you can throw some drop of water for this reason, you can come out successful. The day, if you can, you know, set and set some steers on this ground, then you can come out successful. Anyway, today I am going to stop here. I can discuss tomorrow, again go further. So, now you see what is the teachings of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, what he wants to give to Uddhav Ji Maharaj. Very secret. 
very deep feeling there. If you can, if you are unable to go deep into the ocean of this feeling, then your hearing is all external hearing. Ready to go deep into this fellow. So, it's very Uddhav, Shangbad was good, but the last teaching of Uddhav is also very excellent, excellent. Tavad Brahma Katha Mukti Pada Vitavad Natikti Bhavit, Tavad Chapi Visinkarata Mahatena Loka Veda Sitihi, Tavad Sasta Vidam Mitaha Kalakala Nana Bahir Batmasu, Sri Chaitanya Priyajana Javadana Digga Charaha, Vansha Kalpatru Sikhi Pasindhi Bhavishya, Patitanang Pavane Bho Vaishna Bhyonam. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nitai Gaur, Hari Bol, 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 Tai Gaur, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Nitai Gaur Pimanande. Hari Hari Bol.